Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 1. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit the bell right next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now, and tonight, we are using my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman Juice. This is a great big old wedge, guys. Smiling blade out of the mid-1800s. And for our soap, we are using fine snake bite. This is just like pure menthol, guys. I will go ahead, though, and have all the ingredients and the scent profile for you down uh, in the description. Plus, tonight we are using my Omega 10098, as usual. Just a marvelous brush. Now, I have had that snake bite blooming. So, we're going to pour off that bloom water, and we're putting that on as a pre-shave tonight. Hmm, okay, and it really, at this point, isn't harsh at all. It is quite nice. This is a towel-based soap as well, by the way. So if you like towel-based soap and menthol together, this may be for you. Now, we'll get most of that water out of that brush. Okay, and I've got the soap in my Vanderhagen ceramic bowl, so we're going to load it up. So guys, tell me, how you doing? We made it to the weekend, the Sunday shave of the day. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend, and uh, you had a good week last week, for that matter. And maybe some good shaves, huh? Yep. Hopefully you're having good shaves, great shaves would even be better. Yeah, and this soap is going gangbusters, guys. So we may very well just be there already. I don't know. This is the first time I've used this soap, so I have no idea how it works. What the water, whoa, water to soap ratio is. Almost dropped it but it's okay I didn't drop it yeah so we'll see we'll see how it goes but I'm thinking that doesn't look too bad right doesn't look too bad to me all right So guys, in the comments, let me know, what do you think about menthol soaps? And have you ever tried snake bite? Yeah, looking good. We're gonna put a little more water on this. See if we can't kind of kick that up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, this is uh, like a three, three day growth. So we'll see how it does. Now that menthol is starting to kind of kick in now, which is good. It, it's nice, it's refreshing. But at this point, it is not burning my eyes, which is a good thing. 
All right, so this is episode one, which means this first pass is with the grain guy. Nice, look at that. Just taking it right off. Yeah, nice. Good cushion. Very nice. And it's not uh, like overpowering uh, my eyes or anything. My eyes aren't watery. Really, that's good. Nice. All right. This is really turned out quite good, guys. Find those two spots.
All right, nice. I gotta tell you, this is really working out quite nicely. I like it. Now, and that, look at this, that razor just cutting that down. That is beautiful. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Now, slickness. Yeah? Okay, there's some residual slickness there, guys. Yep. Oh, definitely. Definitely. That tallow really helps. It really does for that kind of stuff. That slickness is nice. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Good beard reduction. And the menthol is not overpowering. I really am enjoying that. All right. Coming up next is a pass and a half. Hope to see you there. Click right over here to see episode two, how this shave ends. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.